Well, back to our top story now, as President Biden is calling on everybody to keep their guard up against COVID-19. CBS4 Washington correspondent Alexandra Lamone joins us live now to break down the president's message. Alexandra. Hi there, good evening. Well, today President Biden announced a record number of vaccines were administered over the past three days, 10 million in total. But still, the president says everybody de needs to do more because we are also seeing an increase in COVID-19 cases. The war against COVID-19 is far from won. President Joe Biden announced his administration is redoubling its efforts to get Americans vaccinated, calling it a life and death race with the virus that is spreading quickly. With cases rising again, new variants are spreading. But right now I'm scared. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky asked Americans to hold off on returning to normal a little longer until more Americans are vaccinated. So that all of those people that we all love will still be here when this pandemic ends. The president urged Americans to continue using safety measures and mayors and governors to reinstate mask mandates. Mask up, mask up. It's a patriotic duty. The president says the administration is doing its part too by expanding eligibility and access. By April 19th, three weeks from today, 90% of adults, people over 18 and over, will be eligible to get vaccinated. Now, the number of COVID-19 cases in the U.S. rose by 10 percent over the past week compared to the week before. And the number of hospitalizations and deaths are also up, likely tied to an increase in spring break related travel. Alexander, we have a quick question back here. What are you hearing about a potential vaccine passport being required for Americans to travel? We are hearing that Biden administration officials are starting to work with private companies to try to roll out some standards when it comes to a possible vaccine passport. Now, the administration has said in the past that they wouldn't per se be mandating any kind of a passport either to travel or to return to, you know, large public events. But states, uh, cities or even private companies could require it. So the Biden administration would likely and is likely now already working to help develop a clear set of standards that could possibly be used and rolled out across the country. Yeah, something we'll all be watching. All right, thank you. CBS4 Washington correspondent Alexandra Limon. Thank you.